social update ug native pick fair speak out on winding up business in uganda a company and night on epic fair they're talking about winding up business in uganda nyanzi textile industries limited brackets night and pick fair industries limited have broken the silence about reports of winding up business in uganda textile industries limited in documents that made rounds on social media it was indicated that the country's oldest textile factory was winding up in a voluntary cessation that followed the shareholders meetings on october 25th and december 2nd 2022 the documents indicate that a special resolution was passed to appoint cpa ronald mutumba as the liquidator take notice that on october 25th 2022 a special resolution for voluntary winding up peak fair ginger limited and the said company ceased to carry on business except for as is required to wind up the company one of the documents read which together uh, the documents also show that peak fair trading company limited parkinson clark limited and southern night hill garments limited have also gonna wind up together or, or, or they're gonna wind up however a statement by richard d moviru the corporate affairs director at peak fairs group of companies has said the companies being wound up have been dormant and that by being closed they are only doing it formally all active group companies like southern range nyanz limited rather nyanza limited pick fair industries limited and henley property developers limited are fully functional and shall remain serving you as always there is therefore no need to be worried about the missing out on any of the group brands and services Mubiru said the development comes on at the backdrop of worries by several sections of the public about the closure of businesses in the country's oldest textile factory being one of them nyanzi textile industries was established in 1954 by the colonial government as a parastato company and the independent governments in uganda ran the factory until 1996 when they sold it to Southern Range Nyanza Limited, the company that runs it today. Night Hill has for long been manufacturing government institution government garments, including uniforms of the UPDF. Peak Fair started as a basic scholastic materials production factory in 1996. On the other side, Peak Fair is the leading manufacturer of books in the country, as well as other paper products. President Museven last year commissioned a multi billion new factory that Peak Fair Industries proprietors said cost 12.5 million US dollars in the Namave Industrial Park, which is a company that is a international company that is a company company that is a company that is a Radio stations, Galao. Many things have, have been winding up of recent. Simanyo Rachi, Afrisero, Yaduka. What's really going on in the country? Just want to thank you in the comments. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button. Peace.